Welcome to my easy peasy creating an ink portrait tutorial. Sometimes we just want an easy solution, so here is mine. Find an image and turn it into a black and white photo. Make sure that the size suits you. Now you can use a window or a light box to trace your portrait with an HB pencil. You can tape your portrait to the window with masking tape. Place your paper on top and draw. Once your outline is complete, you are ready to use ink. You will need either coloured or black ink, water and a thin brush. A palette helps thin out the ink, which makes your ink lighter. Start painting your shadows with heavily watered down ink. Ink works in a similar way to watercolored paint. You can spread it over your image by placing water down first, or you can water it down to create a more muted tone, and you can mix colors easily. However, each layer needs to be dry before applying the next. And the brilliant thing about using ink is that the whole image or page does not need to be covered with ink. Shadows are highlighted and dark shadows need more intense or pure ink. Ink which hasn't been diluted by water. Follow your photo carefully and replicate or copy your shadows. I started with the eyes and I usually do that when working in portraiture with any medium. The shadows usually sit around the eyes the gap between the lips, the edge of the face, the ears, the neck, and of course the hairline. Keep layering and building up your ink. The further you are into your drawing, the less the ink will need to be watered down. You can see here that I'm using pure ink and I'm working those eyes, working the pupil, working the iris, also working the hair, the nostrils, and again, that line between the lips. Less is definitely more when it comes to ink, and you need to know when to stop. This sounds easier than it actually is, but give it a go. If it doesn't work, start again and have another go. Enjoy.